I have selected six beginners from all over the world and helped them build six different AI apps. It was part of my Codebender AI course. In this video, I will show you these projects. This will give you ideas of projects that look good on a resume. The first AI app is Wall Street Bets GPT by Ali. Ali is 24 years old, he's a computer science student in Kosovo. He had very basic coding skills at the beginning of the course. He had never built an AI app before. His idea was to create a financial advisor bot, but it looked a little bit too basic when he made it. So he decided to completely redesign it and make a bot for the famous subreddit Wall Street Bets. He built this project with Next.js and he plugged it into the OpenAI API. This is my app that I created based on Wall Street Bets. So when you go to the app, you can find the button. When you click to the button, you can start a conversation with AI uh, to get advice for your investments. If I want to invest on stock market or crypto, or I can ask the Wall Street Bets GPT. I can write, I want to invest in stocks. I created this app because I thought we need uh, more information about investing. For example, if we have $100 or euros per month and we can invest that, we need some advice where to invest, or what to buy or what to do with that money. And that was my idea to create that. I based in Wall Street Bets and I created this uh, UI to be more, a little bit more funny. Awesome. Well, I really like this project, really cool. I've seen actually like over the weeks, how much the UI has changed. If, if you look at this now and you look at the first version in the beginning, but the UI is just a massive difference. This one is a lot more fun, enjoyable. Like I, I like the angle because we're brainstorming with Ali. We're talking. The start was just like a regular financial advisor tab. And then we're thinking, okay, like what if you would want this project to be more catchy? Then this idea came of using Wall Street Bets, the super like popular subreddit, and creating a bot for them. So I know you put a lot of work into all of this part from UI to conception, ideation, etc. So very proud of it. Good job on everything. It looks great, Ali. And Forgot to say, I've invited the jury to read the project so that you can see that it's actually legit. The first one is Louis from Coding with Louis. You probably have seen him already. He's a famous tech creator. And then we have Grégoire Yacan. He's actually my former employer. He's the founder and CEO of a tech startup called Kusmik. He hired over 20 engineers and raised over $3 million. So together, we're going to be reviewing all those projects. Congratulations. The idea is great. The only feedback I would say is kind of what Zorbeck's already kind of saying, you know, is like, I'm like, imagine if this was like a Chrome extension that you can install and then it's always like on the side panel of like the Wall Street events as you're browsing it or something. Even when I just um, saw you doing a demo there, there's obviously like the content restrictions that's obviously being put by OpenAI or whatever it might be to kind of go against the advice that you might read on Wall Street stats, right? Like, yeah, hi, Ali. Uh, congratulations. The only comment I have is maybe when you have a conversation like that, don't call AI, AI, because I think we want something more human with emotions, maybe humor. Also, the like the logo is quite funny. <laughs> Remembers me one film. I'm, I'm not sure if we can uh, quote it. Just change AI to maybe Ali or someone else uh, at some point. Second project is Interview GPT by Andy, and he's actually based here in New York. He wanted to build an AI app to help him prepare for his interviews, but he was a complete beginner. He had very basic coding experience, so he had a massive level up during the course. So the reason why I created this app is for students to help sharpen their interview skills, boost their confidence, make sure they are ready for the next interview. The app first introduces you as a welcome. As you can see, like is asking if you have any interest for this specific company, such as Google. The position I chose was junior software engineer. Then it asks junior entry level questions, such as what's your education background? Have you done any bootcamp? Any tech skills that you have? It first demonstrates tech stack for the company that you're that you shows for Google, it shows uh, Java and Python as their main um, coding skills. After that, it gives you tech interview questions, such as a basic generic question of um, the programming that you use, such as Python, Java. And after that, it gives you a coding challenge based on the preferred language that you chose. If you don't know the answer, uh, it gives you a solution of the preferred language that you chose. The only comment I can add is, first, I'm really happy like about the UI improvements. That's real cool. I hadn't seen like those last changes you made. I think you really polished it nicely compared to the version that I saw. Good job on making the video also. The video looks very professional. I didn't know also that, that you made that video, but it looks really cool. Just from a UI perspective, uh, it's a little difficult because the input box, when you start the chat, it's kind of small. Uh, that would be nice if maybe it was like a bigger area so that people can really type and explain and engage with, uh, with the bot. Two things like add maybe some stress for the future, if you know how to do that, and maybe add some voice or things to make it like even more simulation. But I, I really like the idea, like how to train and train and train better for, for the 
the best possible interview. By the way, guys, if you like this project, go to the link in the description to sign up for the Codebender AI course. The next project is Kraken, an artistic QR code generator by Alex. Alex has a really cool story. He wanted to become a software engineer, but he hated programming. He hated all his class, he hated learning it, he thought he wasn't smart enough, but he didn't give up. He's from Siberia, Russia, and he's actually part of an ethnic minority called the Buryats. There are very few of them in the world. Right now, he's studying in China on a scholarship, and this actually created a lot of complications, the fact that he was based there. Number one, the huge time zone difference between New York, where I'm based, and China, this means that the call that we had during the course, for him it was like 1 a.m. in the morning or something like that. But props to him, he never missed a single call. The other issue that happened though is that OpenAI is blocked in China, so he had to use a VPN. But because of the VPN, it was interfering with a few of the technologies that we were using in the course, like Next.js. So it created so many different complications. The thing though is he was so motivated and I think nothing could really stop him. He persevered till the end and managed to complete his project in time. How can you make uh, something creative out of this boring stuff? I built something similar and called it the uh, Kraken for uh, Lulis, right? Calling this Lulis. Saw your videos before. You want to make a QR code for it. Put it on your LinkedIn or somewhere. So here, you put your URL here and put a prompt. Uh, as I can see here, I have some uh, geometry figures or something. So I just uh, write here. Uh, geometry figures that can generate so after a few seconds we can see here a uh, qr code yeah, it's not looking like that but uh, uh, like as much prompt to give uh, uh, like as much creative it may become so for uh, Lewis, maybe uh, he can use like something like that to attract more and for example for uh, grigory yakan and for his uh, company uh, cosmic as i can see that it is uh, Focus on innovation. Hope he is a LinkedIn here and create a unique QR code for his company. So let's see. You can see a city, and you actually can like scan this QR code now, and it will lead to your uh, company page. Awesome! Great job, bro. You guys really love the results. So congratulations! It looks great. Um, you know, obviously, to give any feedback, you know, obviously, if you wanted to do a better design, like maybe it would give you four QR codes that you can pick right off the bat so that I can like maybe pick one if I wasn't satisfied with one, you know? But again, like this is all within the constraints of a one month project. The fact you personalized in such limited time the, the presentation to the audience, it's, uh, it, it's really awesome. Like I, I really liked it. It turns out like you are trying to make QR code from boring to trendy. Yeah, really congratulations on that. The fourth project is Omni, an AI social platform by Kenneth. <laughs> Kenneth is 24 years old, he's based in Singapore, and he actually wants to build a real startup based on his project. He already had the base app that he had built prior to the course, and he added all the AI functionality during the course. For my AI features, I'm actually working on a tool where we, it helps like social media influencer or creators. You could chat with the AI naturally. How it works is like, let's just say I say I'm um, going to have a demo uh, for the last code render. So. I wanted to create a solution where the essentially what happens is in every prompt in the back end, I'm trying to store the data in like a vector database so that it kind of like re remembers like the context about the user. Once the AI knows context about you, there will be like a web app which has like a sort of like a like a Twitter like interface. I've integrated like the APIs for Twitter and LinkedIn. Now it's like you could go and type it nat naturally. So just say like, uh, write about my demo day. It should uh, generate something about like the last code vendor because I mentioned it previously in the chat. Afterwards, you could tweak it. And if you like this like uh, thing, you could just post it. I think it's a very good project. I think there's a lot of potential for content generation, right? Like people always want to generate more content, higher quality, but faster and cheaper. One question maybe that I would ask though is, have you considered doing something that is that could be used on existing platforms maybe through like a chrome extension or something like this versus doing your yes. own platform creating a chrome extension that just connects to like the ai so that it knows the uh the context uh, i actually seen like a, another tool that does something similar where they have like a, a chrome extension that modifies like the twitter like the new post page and it recommends below like the, the button so that's something I want to look into as well. Because I was like totally impressed the, how you connected to all the social media and did your AI uh, first time like that in only one month. I love the, also the fact uh, it also integrates emoji in the, in the text, kind of like text plus 
emotions in some way. The fifth project is the AI Resume Builder by Elias. Elias has an interesting story as well. He's originally from Chechnya, but right now he's in Norway and he's working as an electrician apprentice. He wants to go back to university to study computer science, but as he's changing careers, he doesn't have a resume yet. So his idea was to create an AI Resume Builder. He was probably the most beginner in the group. He only had basic Python experience that he picked up a while ago. So everything was new to him. He had never built an app before and he had to really level up a lot in the course. This is basically you type and I get help with uh, tips for my resume. So there's no chat box. It's just going to be in whole and uh, open. <laughs> and this is clearly a bug. I think the, the box, maybe you remove that. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I don't know. Maybe some, it looks like it's just some CSS. So the concept is uh, at least to uh, get help with uh, your resume uh, by text, by just typing. So you can just ask questions like, uh, uh, what should I do to prepare my resume? And if you type step by step, it's going to like make uh, step by step lines. If, yeah, here the logo doesn't bug out, but it was supposed to stand still. Well, not, not, not something crazy as this is my first project uh, i just wanted to uh, prepare it's unfortunate because i remember your project working because it was a completely different ui it was supposed to look like ah, this okay, okay. You have it here, so, okay. yeah okay. so Where's this is my original uh, yeah. just step by step tips you just type that uh -huh. it, it is this looks much uh, better okay. yeah, this is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you do that you try to customize but yeah here at least it's more of a, like a working final version like yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually. yeah well it looks great i think you know the only thing i would say moving forward um with an app like this is like how can we reduce the amount of steps per user you know like that instant gratification like almost like can i just post my linkedin url and then it'd be able to grab all of it and then build it right there on the spot and then you can kind, of, kind of like with chat with it after to kind of do those little refinements almost right that way it kind of gives me that instant feeling of like oh nice like i just got a resume right there on the spot i can chat with it and stuff um i would say like with an app like that that'd be very important to to do like that but overall like you know congrats on releasing your first project um you know it's thank, on the right you. Track. thank you the next project is the ai task wizard it was created by musa who is actually the youngest in the group. He's currently studying computer science in the US and he wanted to make an AI to make it easier for you to plan your tasks. So for a little bit of background, currently a student uh, studying computer science. Throughout my first year, I've been trying different tools to basically try to manage my day and manage the tasks that I have within my day. However, I realized that a lot of tools are not very customizable. They only let you input simple tasks as checklists. However, I wanted to integrate AI within my day and my workflow to essentially break down tasks so that I can better manage my time. So I created Task Wizard, which essentially, uh, as I'll demo, you can input tasks with uh, these fields and it'll break down the tasks and give you uh, time estimates for the tasks. So I'll give an example. I want to clean my uh, garage. I have 30 minutes and let's say it's urgent. It'll generate the goal that I have with each input. It'll generate a, a checkbox, so it's loading us. So it'll give me time estimates for different subtasks within the main goal that I have. So that way, uh, you know, I'm not wasting time and then I can, I can, you know, check things off as I go and then check off the entire task that I have. Ideally, without any time constraint, my initial idea was to have a speech to task so that even I could save time like in the beginning of my day and just say, you know, hey, I want to do X, Y, Z and I have this time limit for each task and I want to be able to generate all these tasks at once and save me some time. But so this was kind of the UI that I had made for this project. I like the UI. I remember the initial version you had. If I can give just the feedback, it would be nice if, you know, like thinking just from a user perspective, like how to make it as easy as possible, set a goal, a time to accomplish it, like a level of urgency so that because here it gives like those uh, very short like tasks but maybe if it could give me some indications of how to accomplish the task like let's say if it's something that is not easy to do like maybe that could be like another dimension is the difficulty quick question is it is there a way to optimize the task like for instance i want to clean the garage i want also to cook pasta for later and i want to do my sport everything in the same day so is there a way like it can list to me the best the best approach like to optimize my uh, my day yeah that's a good question uh, as of now, um, the way I have it set up is you input a task and like it'll go, it'll go task by task for now, but I really like that idea actually. I think I, I could definitely try to implement that. Um, 
within my code, you know, I would have to have like one input and be able to put multiple tasks instead of having a task by task input. But I really like that idea actually, yeah. It was really awesome teaching these guys. They build really cool projects that really stand out on a resume and hopefully they're gonna use the skills that they learned to build more projects later on. This program gave me the opportunity to learn, like create an actual cool project that I never thought of that I could create. Like first I was kinda nervous that the jury would like completely roast me, but actually they gave me good feedback and they gave me like how I can improve. I definitely think it's super helpful, especially having completed a project in such a short time um, I think it'll help me not only boost my resume but also be able to teach me like the skills that I need to make more projects and kind of beef up my resume in the future as well yeah now if you want to build a badass AI project to stand out in the market and get a six-figure job go to the link in the description to sign up for the Codebender AI course and if you want to see 10 other examples of AI projects that my students built check out this video